If I asked you to mention all the things you absolutely love in this world, how long would it take to mention yourself? You're not on the list, are you? Why not? Have you ever wondered? We've been conditioned to believe that loving ourselves is strange, narcissistic even. Love is something that other people must give us. Prioritizing ourselves over others is selfish. What if no one's prioritizing you? Wait, you're not even prioritizing yourself. Why would anyone else? Hi, I'm Priyanka Bhardwaj. I'm the founder and CEO of Marriage Broker Auntie, which is a matrimonial advisory service. We enable successful professionals make informed partner choices. If you are single and looking to get married, Marriage Broker Auntie is absolutely the place you must start your relationship. We help you in understanding yourself, your relationship values and your goals better. We help you in creating and realizing your relationship aspirations. Usually on this channel, we talk about love, relationships, marriages. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about something very special. We're going to talk about self-love. Yes, you heard that right. Self-love and why it is so important. Until a few decades ago, a large part of our society lived in joint families. We relied on each other a lot. We relied on the communities that we were a part of for all kinds of support. Physical, emotional, logistical, financial. So being extroverted or being able to get along with others gave us brownie points because it gave us access to much more than as individuals. But today, you don't need to know a friendly driver to be able to get a ride whenever you want. You don't even need to attend parties to be able to meet interesting people. Everything is available at our fingertips without us having to interact with a single human being. Our society is evolving to make us much more self-sufficient by the day. As we become more and more self-sufficient, we're really losing the ability to connect with others. We're struggling to love others. We're struggling to be loved by others. But we humans are social animals. Thousands of years of evolution can't be undone with 100 years of technology, right? How do we then, with our very limited tools and skill sets as individuals, satisfy our very carnal need to connect with another human being? Start by loving yourself and being loved for yourself. When you start to love and care for yourself, you show others how to love and care for you. When you tune into your own needs, you learn to tune into the needs of the ones you love. Everything, everything in the world starts at home, including love.